Goodbye, hair. No. I'm having like an identity crisis. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. Up first, we have a video by Sugar Francie. I'm just gonna do it, and I have no idea on how to do it. No. <laughs> Sugar France, can I call you that? So we're just gonna jump right into it with no idea what we're doing. That's probably the worst idea ever. Her hair is so luscious and so long and so beautiful. I'm really sad to see it go because with her wave pattern, that weight really helps create those beautiful crimps. With it shorter, she's gonna get even more curl, which is fine, but like this mermaid crimp she has going on is really pretty and I really like it. But we'll see what the new look looks like. I don't have a lot of hope for her, honestly. It's a start, so we'll see. Oh, it's just hair. Why is it so hard? It looks like we're going for a bob. I don't know about that for her. I just don't know if it's gonna complement her face shape. I feel like the length looks really great on her. I feel like it just elongates her neck. It's really pretty on her. I'm not quite sure about the shorter hair at all. <laughs> Okay, this is... <laughs> that is mad. <laughs> <sighs> what was that cut? Please tell me how and what the technique was because there was absolutely none and everything just went f south real quick. Her hair is all different lengths. It is going to look so wacky. Please tell me she's gonna refine this cut. Please. <laughs> Please make it stop. Please, please. Please stop cutting it like that. If there's one thing that I hate the most, it's when people just grab their hair and just just cut it. They just go for it. It is probably the worst, worst, worst approach to cutting hair yeah, I could ever think of. This is going to be tragic, an absolute mess, and very difficult to fix. Oh, oh my actual. I mean. It is way too short you can always go shorter guys we don't need to start short we can work our way up okay that is why i recommend everybody i would have loved just some face framing layers some layers just overall it would look so good and it would accentuate her waves even more and just add a little more structure to her face i would love it but we're a little too far gone past that point look at all the hair she's cut i love it <laughs> That makes one of us. But I'm happy you love it because you have to live with it, not me. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. In my entire life! <laughs> oh my god. This is actually kitchen scissors. Of course it is. What, what else would it be? Hair cutting scissors? No. <laughs> no. No, it could never be that. It could never f be that. Anyways, <laughs> the length is growing on me. I, I do actually think she didn't go too short. She could probably go shorter, but I really switched it up quick, right? I'm like, oh, she went too short. And now I'm like, not short enough. That's what it's like living in this head. It's just constantly switching shit up all the time. But we definitely need some texture in here. We need to thin out those ends. It's going like this. This moment with a bob, never good. We need a lot of point cutting on those ends. We need a little bit of layering just towards the ends. We don't want to put layering up here because then she's going to end up with a stacked bob. There's a lot of things we need to watch out for. This could turn into a Karen bob really quickly no offense to all you karens out there i love you we should not get attached so much on some material sh like hair they grow back if you feel like doing it just do it you're gonna cry probably but you're gonna get stronger she said just do it you're probably gonna cry but just cut your hair i love that advice i'm gonna start telling people that when they're like should i cut it i'm like you know what just do it you might absolutely hate yourself and cry for a few days but after that you will get over it and move on with your life that's the kind of advice i should be giving to people good idea <laughs> there isn't such thing like changing your appearance like whenever you feel like it and i like it Okay. Well, that's the whole look. I like it. I do have a thing for her long hair though. For some reason, it was really beautiful. I do like the short, but I don't know. I feel like when you have that beautiful wave, I just want to see it look like a mermaid. I want it to be so damn long. It looks so pretty. Up next, we have a video by Rose Evermore. And this video is called, I cut my hair really, really short. If you're going to have a title like that, it better be real short, like a 
pixie. Something exciting is going to happen today. I'm going to be cutting my hair. I'm going to be cutting it really short. My hair is really dead. This is that's why I'm cutting it. Look, pieces of hair just keep falling out everyone. It's super dead. <laughs> Why is it not wet? You guys, just wet your hair. Shower, or if you don't want to shower, just wet it. I know some of y'all stink, so I don't, I know you don't want to shower. But just wet it, I mean wet wet. That way when you cut, all the hair clumps together. It doesn't get everywhere when it falls to the floor. You get better precision cutting when your hair is weighed down. Plus, the scissors just glide through the hair better when it's wet. So it just helps everybody. I have these scissors. I do have the hair scissors. But these are very blunt and these are very strong. These are my sewing scissors. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. So we have hair cutting scissors, but we opted to use the ones that are not for cutting hair. Make it make sense. No, not again. Please make it stop. We did it again, where we just pull a piece to the front and we do a chop. Why do we keep doing that? You guys, that is not a real technique. A guy named Brad Mondo made a video for you and it's on YouTube on how to cut your hair like this at home. And just to give you a sneak peek of what is to come in that video, we section into four sections and then we cut. It's honestly almost as easy as what you're doing right now, but it just comes out a whole lot better. Trust me. Sorry, I was so taken aback by her technique that I forgot how much hair she just cut off. That was like a good eight inches. And I know eight inches when I see it. That is good, damn. But again, like the last girl, like, I don't know. I just, I don't know why I like the longer hair better on her. I don't know. I feel like I'm in a long hair phase right now, even though I just gave Mia Maples a bob. <laughs> I'm in like brunette long hair era, uh, but we'll see, I don't know, man. Look at that. This is all fried off hair. It is definitely giving fried and I'm definitely happy that shit is gonna fall to the floor and never be on her head again because it was looking crispy. Wait, I have to cut the front bits as well. Is it? Hold on, whoa, whoa, what was that little piece at the front? It's like a little point, a little thing. I love it. I feel so much more like myself right now. I'm having like an identity crisis because I don't feel like myself and this is a blessing. <laughs> Wendy Williams. Why is she cutting it like that? <laughs> and something tells me she's not even gonna put layers in it. Look at that. This is fried. And look, it's got the little ombre effect. I used to have bleached hair and then I dyed it brown again and it just keeps on going lighter. So this is what happens you pull your hair forward and cut it. It ends up really short in the back and really long in the front. You get this A-line bob. A-line bobs Ain't it. They were it in 2000, 2000. They ain't it ever since. Let's leave them in the past. They were never cute. They never will be. So yeah, hopefully she evens that out and we don't stick with like an A-line bob because they're ugly. Now it's just gonna make it straight. Oh, it's really high up here. That might just leave it like this. I'm gonna leave it like this. Okay, it's growing on me. It's starting to grow on me. Is it starting to grow on you? I, I don't know. What does the back look like? Is the back fine? Is it like shaped upwards? Or if it's shaped upwards, then that's not good. I'm gonna check. Oh my God, the back of her head. <laughs> I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. <laughs> I just want the back of somebody's head to be, you know, and not me. One day. Oh my God, it's such a short ponytail. You don't put in a cool clip. <laughs> This is how short it is. Just basically like goes up like that. It used to be here and then I cut it here and then now it's here. I am so happy with the results. Like, I am just like, <sighs> I feel like a new person and I feel like I can do anything with this short hair. I think I was born for short hair to be honest. Okay, hear me out. To wrap this whole look together, let's just put a little bit of layering in the bottom area of the hair, not up here. Then, you ready? Platinum blonde. <laughs> I know nobody would ever expect me to say that. Oh my God, it would give such model off duty vibes. And that is all I ever want in my life is a model off duty or on duty. Either one, I'll take it. It's growing on me. She looks fierce. She looks a little more mature with this cut. I just feel like the color needs to now be in order as well. Really horrible job <laughs> cutting it, but you got to a result that is um, wearable. But let's refine it. All right, let's not leave it there. Up next to video by Valerie's Vlogs. What's up vlog? Long time no see. Today is going to be a fun, different type of
like the video. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. She has 25 pounds of hair and it is down to her waist or just below her chest. I can't really tell, but one of them, I'm gonna say to her waist because it sounds more dramatic that way. Wow, she has gorgeous hair. The thing with thick hair is when we do a big chop, you really have to have a good technique because it will very quickly look like steps and look really jagged with that thick hair. So <laughs> get ready to see some steps. My hair has been driving me crazy because of how long it is and it's just really thick. And I've really been wanting to do this for a really long time. I am going to chop it all off and donate it. She just pointed to her chin. Her chin. Oh my God. The fact that we're gonna try and do this at home. Don't do a bob cut from long to short on yourself. Actually, don't ever do bobs in yourself. Okay, you can, but just be aware it's probably gonna not turn out great. You just can't see the back of your head. You could see the back of your head if you had a three-way mirror, but most of you don't. I actually do see the back of my head with my three-way mirror. I cut my own hair and I color it and I do all this shit. But I'm a hairstylist and you aren't. Maybe you are. Hey, hairstylist, how are you? I've been looking to try to donate it all because I have so much and I thought that'd be really nice, but any place that I could find, like Locks of Love or any of the like common ones, they don't accept bleached or dyed hair. I'm quite sure that has changed a lot in the past like five years that you can actually donate colored hair to like anybody at this point. Let me know where you can donate hair to uh, if it's colored because I'm pretty sure you can donate it to everywhere. And I'm gonna dry it first and then I'll come back. Do you know why I'm screaming? Do you know why I'm frustrated? Do you know why I'm pissed off? Because she had her hair wet wet and now she's drying it before the haircut. I feel like I have said this so many times and it's been like five years of this guys. You still don't cut your hair wet. I don't know what else to tell you to do. I don't know how else to tell you. Anyone else with long hair definitely understands this struggle, but it takes me like 10 plus solid minutes of drying my hair and I've only been drying it for about five minutes now and it's like barely even halfway dry. Well luckily for you, we should cut it wet. I've been murdered clear today. As her hair gets more and more dry, holy sh she has 25 pounds. Actually no, 2,500 pounds of hair. 25 million even pounds of hair. My hair is totally dry and I straightened it so that way everything would be nice and even. Now that her hair is dry, great, I'm glad we tried it. Even though it's supposed to be wet when we cut it, it would save you a lot of time and energy because you cut it and then you dry it and you have a lot less hair. But whatever you wanna do, you know? Now that it's dry, her hair looks like it weighs 250 pounds. It is massive, it is huge, she has so much hair, it's beautiful. The next step is to divide it all into little bitty ponytails. I'm thinking because of how thick my hair is, maybe having about six and then I'll braid those, so I'm gonna do that right now. I've got my hair in these little bitty ponytails and... She did the ponytails, she did the ponytails, she did the ponytails. Oh, I'm so happy. Somebody did it today. It looks like she did them right. You gotta lay the ponytails down flat in the back and the sides and the front. You can't pull the ponytails from the back to the front or else you'll get over direction, which gives length and you don't want that. Now we'll have to see if she cuts above the ponytail or below because everybody always cuts below the ponytail and then all the hair goes everywhere. Cut above the ponytail so that the hair is trapped in the ponytail. It comes off in chunks, you know? And then what I'll do next is put a second ponytail an inch or so, maybe two inches below it, and then I'll braid that part down. Okay, so we're doing the double ponytail method, which is fine. I like that. At least she's gonna cut above it. Literally freaking out. <laughs> is that too short? I've worked up the courage. I'm going to do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm scared though. Do it, do it, do it. I'm scared. You're killing me. Cut it. Yo, you can tell, look in her face. It's like instant regret. It's instant, like, holy shit. 
what am I doing to myself? Oh my gosh, that's weird. She cut off so much hair. I literally can't get over how thick my hair is. I mean, it was a little bit more uneven. Whoops. It feels so light. Oh my goodness. Oh! Did you see the top of that hair? It was like, I'll tell you something. That ain't even. It's gonna be a mess. I have not a lot of hope. I think my head has been carrying this weight for too long. Wow. I feel like the ends are way too blunt. There's also a bunch of random pieces that I just literally missed. to maybe add a tiny bit of layers, but I think I might have not done that very well. Wait, the cut is actually looking really good. See, this is what happens when you do it right. This is a good example because it looks pretty damn good already and she hasn't even styled it yet. Wait a damn minute. I really thought this was gonna go a completely different direction. Added some curl to it. I don't know if you can hear me over the sound of the fan, but. Oh my god! I really like this on her. I really, really do. The only thing is like, again, we didn't put any layers in the hair. We need some texture in there. We need to chisel out some of that hair in the, on the bottom of her head because it is just puffy. And it's gonna take a lot of styling work to make this constantly look good. Whereas if you got a good haircut, it would take a lot less styling to make it look good all the time. It should really look good just the way your hair naturally dries. That's really the big difference between doing it at home and doing it professionally is like, a professional is gonna give you a haircut that really works with your hair and you are just gonna give yourself a generic haircut that is decent. It looks good though. You know, can't complain too much. Up next, we have a video by Zayla Blue. Also, the title says, accidentally cut my hair again. Mm, something tells me it probably wasn't an accident. An accident is like falling off your bike and smashing your knee on the pavement. You know, that, those type of things are, to me is an accident. Physically taking scissors and cutting your hair, just don't think that's the same thing. We're doing it again. We've got this long mop of hair. And I'm getting sick of it. So we're cutting it. Okay, so she also has very long hair. I mean, yeah, we, we get it. She, I think, is cutting her hair wet. Oh my god. Dreams do come true. Oh. Let's part it down the middle first. I think that's the middle. I just drenched it in water. Um, Miss Girl, what was that middle part? You went through the effort to do a middle part and then it was just a zigzag line. What happened? Um, we're not using clippers this time because I don't know where they went. So we're using these. Great. Awesome. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. Just some craft scissors. I don't think they went that. Should I be going to a professional? Probably. Am I going to? No. I might end up going to a professional to get it touched up because I also kind of want to dye my hair. And I don't trust myself for that. For cutting, I got it. Done it before. Many a times. <sighs> Somebody think of me. What are you saying? Well, we are separating into two sections, not for like I would like. I can't get everything I want, apparently. And also we are putting elastics in and then pulling them down. It's just not a good idea because you're gonna have longer hair in the back. We don't want that. Okay, so this is the length we're working at. It's probably about a foot, maybe a little less. She's cutting all of that. Oh. Oh, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. That's really short. Now, will she cut above the elastic? We shall see. Something tells me no. We're just gonna go for it. Ooh, okay, now I'm getting scared again. This happened last time. I want the mop off my head, but I'm also scared. Like, it's just a scary thing to do. Change is scary. This is really scary. I think doing an extreme haircut like this is way scarier than coloring your hair because you can always color your hair back, but you can't put your hair back on your head and it takes forever to grow your hair. <sighs> Goodbye, hair. I shall miss you. Oh, no. We're cutting below the elastic. No. I really thought I was just gonna do it without being scared. Just one. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Let's do it. Oh my God, I'm doing it. Oh my God. 
Oh my god. There's no turning back. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yo, those scissors were so dull. This is gonna be so uneven. You said it, not me. <laughs> That is so short. What did I just do? I don't think my brain fully processed what I was actually doing. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my God, that is a lot of hair. How is she gonna pull this all together? We're just gonna set that down and move on to the other side before I lose my Okay, we're, we're just going straight in. No hesitation. No balls. You won't. 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 Let's take this out. One, two, three. That's so uneven. Oh my God. It's so uneven. Oh no. I mean, obviously it was gonna be uneven, but whoa. This is worse than I was even expecting. Fuck, I'm actually gonna have to go get this fixed now. <laughs> yeah, you are. That's so uneven. Like really uneven. We're gonna go fix this because this is not it. Look at the back. I haven't even looked at the back. Look at the back. Bro, it goes like, meow. <laughs> this is what happens when you cut your hair in two sections. It's never gonna be even in the back. It would make no sense if it was. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but she definitely has some thickness at the ends and like some weird layers. Let me brush it back to see what it looks like. I do though love the way her hair is curling up with this cut. I love the little ringlet curls in the front. It is looking really pretty. It's a vibe. I look like a completely different person. You really do. I didn't tell him I was doing this. I didn't tell anybody I was doing this. I kind of just woke up and I was done with my hair. And so here we are. I think I kind of did a good job. I almost like the uneven layers, but I also don't. I don't know. I can't stop playing with it. I feel so free and light. I don't know if I should go get it fixed or not because I kind of like the one, the weirdness of but also the back kind of is funky and it's like really long in the back. Should I just trim it myself? It's like it's like a weird length right there. I'm just gonna like... <laughs> That's a really bad idea. I'm just gonna snip it off actually. Fuck it. Fuck it, weeball. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> she's like pulling the back piece and she's contemplating like, this is a really bad idea, this is a bad idea. And then she's like, Fuck <laughs> Let's do it. And we did it. We, we ended up cutting the back. Still not looking too good in the back, but I'm happy she loves it. Um, well, this is it styled, my curly girl hair routine. I love it. I'm not getting it fixed by a professional. It's a new me, new era. It looks really good with the curls. Uh, I'm sad she's not gonna get fixed though because it could look even better, but it looks beautiful. I love the cut and her curls look so healthy. That was scary. Y'all got some major new looks going on. Whew. If you wanna check out some amazing products for all different hair types and textures, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmonohair.com to shop my hair care products and my hair color products. That's all for today. I'll see you next time.